What's up, Nail Geeks? Today I have March Polish Pickup to share with you guys. The theme is album covers. I have 12 products to share with you all today. I do want to take a moment and thank you all so much for having me hit 500 subscribers on this channel. I never once thought that I would even have half of that for this project that I've started. So thank you all so very much for that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with polish pickup swatches for this month. First up, we have Baroness X. She is back this month with Bow to the Paper Gods. Official description is a purple to co when cool to pink when warm thermal polish that has blue to purple aurora shimmer, large particle hollow pigment, and pink to green shifting flakies. This was inspired by Duran Duran's Paper Gods album. Price is $10.50 and the cap is $85 in the US and 5 bottles to the UK. I do want to remind you guys that stock for the UK shop will be switched accordingly as polish pickup sales open, so don't fret too much over those caps. Um, I think the ladies at the polish pickup headquarters will take care of everyone accordingly. So the formula on Bow to Paper Gods does have a bit of a jelly feel to me. It has a lighter formula to it, but it does build up very quickly. So on opacity for this one, I will say between two and three coats, um, and I think you'll be good to go. This one is very, very reactive to me. As you're seeing here, just from the video, I was having transition just all over the place like crazy. So the warm state is that very pinky, almost like a light, like a lavender undertone to it on warm. And then the cool state is a very vibrant, beautiful violet type purple. Um, it's almost got a neon quality to it. Just very, very nice. There is a subtle sparkle throughout the polish and that Aurora shimmer is very strong in both states. You'll see it come off mostly, in my opinion, as a blue type of sparkle. And then on angles, you'll see it shift over to a nice radiant purple. The flakes in this one behaved nicely for me. I had no issues picking them up with the brush and them laying down flat for me. And after top coat, I had no texture whatsoever. So here, once again, we're going in with my ultra high tech technique with a hair dryer, and I'm showing you guys the warm state. So just very reactive overall. And I think both colors are super flattering um, on any skin tone, really. This month, Baroness X also brings us a new scent in her acetone antidote. This is in Cherry Ice Cream Smile. Official description is a creamy scent mix of cherry ice cream with a bit of pie crumble topping. Um, this is inspired by Duran Duran's Rio album. Now, this is so, so good. I'm usually pretty weary of cherry scents, but this one is fantastic if you're a bakery lover. Price on this one is $4.50 and there is no cap and I do like to mix an entire bottle into my pump which is about 7 ounces and it softens my cuticles and I can also have the power of straight up acetone when I'm removing my nail polish. Next we have blush lacquers. This is Iris. Official description is a plummy brown base with shifting pink, purple, blue, green flakes and hollow flakes. Inspired by Dizzy Up the Girl by the Goo Goo Dolls, released in 1998, and this is named after Victoria's favorite song on the album, Iris. Price is $11.50 and there will be no cap. So, side note, I'm a huge Goo Goo Dolls fan. My husband and I, we just, we have so many memories with their songs. But I digress. So the formula on this one does also have a very smooth, um, very glossy type of feel to it during application. It builds up very, very quickly. For a full opacity, I'm going to say two to three coats on this one. And I had full opacity at two coats. So that first coat you're seeing there, it does start off just a touch on the sheer side. But as you're seeing on the second coat, full opacity just really in your face. So um, just depending on your nail length and application type, just once again, two to three coats for opacity. The base color to this one is what I would consider almost like a very dark burgundy, but it definitely has a strong brown undertone to it. Um, this is a really, really nice flattering shade. It's almost, I would dare say, in the uh, darker neutral family. And the flakes in here just really warm up everything. I saw them in just all kinds of greens and blues and violets and pinks, just really, really pretty. I had no problems picking those up with the brush either, and they laid down nice and flat for me. 
After top coat, I had no texture whatsoever and everything behaved beautifully. The hollow flakes in this one also give you a very dense sparkle overall. Next, we've got by Danny Viana. This is Look at the Stars. Official description is a deep blue jelly base with gold shimmer, holographic flakies, and gold UCC flakies. Inspired by Coldplay Single Yellow, price on this one will be $11.50 and the cap is at 100 bottles. So formula on this one has a bit of a jelly feel to it, but it's ultra smooth on application and really buttery. So I'm going to classify this one as one of those really opaque type jellies. So I would say two to three coats for full opacity on this one and you'll be good to go. Um, I do feel like this one builds up very, very quickly. As you're seeing here on that second coat, it's just really very much so full coverage. Um, so between two and three coats, definitely, and you'll be good to go. The gold shimmer in this one is very strong and it really just contrasts very nicely against that really dark royal blue base. Just very, very flattering. Um, there's lots of sparkles to be seen here. I had no problems with the flakes here either. Everything laid down nice and smooth for me and after top coating, I had no texture whatsoever. Overall, this one reminds me of a night sky. Definitely very appropriate for the namesake of this one. And I think it's just very, very flattering, especially if you are a blue lover like myself. Here we have Cameo Colors Lacquers. This is Till We Both See the Light. Official description is a medium gray curly base with a variety of gorgeously shifting ultra comb flakes and silver hollow micro flakes inspired by 21 Pilots self-titled album cover. Price is 11 and the cap is at 100 bottles. So this one definitely has a really um, like a pond effect type of jelly feel to it. Formula is definitely a little bit on the lighter side, but it does build up easily. As you're seeing here on this first coat, um, it definitely has a very glossy quality to it. So for this one, I would say pretty much any top coat and you will be just fine um, if you are a glossy fan. So the base color is a cool toned gray and I'm always saying on these channels, I'm a huge fan of the rainbow type of flakies that just give you a really, a, a good plethora of color on your nail essentially. So this one is warmed up with all of those flakes. They, they picked up very easily for me on the brush. No issues here whatsoever either. And after top coating, I had no texture. So this is just a really blingy neutral. Um, I definitely, I really like curlies like this and especially when they have that nice cool toned color and then they're just popping with color all over the place. So there is a nice scattered, very dense sparkle across the nail um, in the final look. And I had, once again, no texture with this one either. Everything behaved very nicely for me. So for opacity on this one, I'm gonna say two to three coats, though personally to get that really nice pond effect with the flakes, I would recommend three coats that are thin and then you just kind of build up those flakes all over each other. Next up, we have Crystal Knockout, Enchanted Nightbird. Official description is a mauve to dusty rose thermal with a red aurora glow, linear hollow, and holographic micro flakies. Inspired by the wild heart by the mystic queen herself, Stevie Nicks. Price will be 12 and there is no cap on this one. So the formula on this one has a very Crelly-like feel to it. It's very opaque and it builds up very, very fast. If you are a mauve polished color like myself, I think this one will be very pleasing to you. Both the warm and the cold states are really nice neutral types of mauve, and I think they cover both the dark and the light side of the shade. So I would say that this one is more of a somewhat subtle type of thermal. The warm state is definitely a more rosy warmed up mauve, and then the cold state which is what you're seeing here on the actual swatch portion of the video is a more of a dusky brownish type of mauve so i would describe this one as a neutral thermal and both states just very very flattering the holographic in this is just densely scattered across the nail now this one does dry down just a bit on the matte side so personally i would recommend a good glossy top coat to make everything pop and then have those sparkles really pop. 
So I actually, when I was swatching this, I forgot that it was a thermal. And when I went to top coat here, I was like, uh oh, I did something wrong. Um, but it's just that reactive. So depending on your um, top coat and what temperature state you're currently in, um, it's just going to keep shifting for you um, between the states. So once again, after glossy top coat, no texture whatsoever here, um, just smooth sailing and a really, really nice dense sparkle overall. And here you're seeing with my, once again, high tech hair dryer. Next, we have Girly Bits. This is Say Hello to Heaven. Official description is a vibrant blurple with heavy violet undertones accented with purple and blue shimmer, gold flakes, and color shifting flakes in purple and blue. Inspired by Temple of the Dog, specifically Chris Cornell's song for the polish's namesake. Price on this one will be 13 and the cap is at 300 bottles. So I do want to apologize on this one. My lens, like no matter which one I use, I do have two that I rotate for my swatches. No matter what I did, it was just really focusing in on that blue shimmer in here, which is very, very strong. So the base is definitely a grape-like purple, but then the flakes and the shimmer in here are just very, very strong. So it's just giving you that really blurply like look. In person, it's very, very vibrant. So I really have to say this is more of a blurple type color, though my camera is picking it up very intense sapphire blue, at least on my monitor here. So the formula on this one is very opaque. I really can't see anyone needing to go past two coats. It builds up insanely fast. And there's a lot of dense sparkle to be seen here. And in person, um, those gold flakes really give a nice, um, like a regal type of sparkle to the final look. I personally would recommend a good glossy top coat to seal everything in and just really make all of that pigment just crazy pop on your nail. There's a lot to see here, and I think based off of the shimmer and the flakes, on certain angles you will see a little bit more of a purple lean. Um, it's just all going to depend on what lighting that you're in, whether you're going to see purple or blue. Next up, we've got Lemming Lacquer. This is Lungs. Official description is a dark, tur a dark turquoise jelly filled with orange to red shimmer and iridescent flaky shifting blue, green, turquoise, gold, orange, and pink. Inspired by the album Lungs by Florence and the Machine. Price is 13 and the cap will be 250 bottles. So the base color to this one is one of my favorite types of turquoises. It's just really sitting there, mostly green, but it's got a nice blue undertone to it. Very, very flattering. And the formula on this one is a bit on the medium to almost heavy side. It builds up very fast for opacity on this one, depending on your application type. I'm gonna say two to three coats, though I had full opacity at two coats and I'm going in here with what I would consider um, normal for me type coats. I'm not overly loading up the brush, but I'm also not being too sparingly with it either. This is absolutely loaded with flakes and it gives off that wonderful rainbow effect that I'm, I'm always talking about. And it just warms up that base color really, really nicely. After top coat, I had no texture whatsoever and Personally, again, I would recommend a good glossy top coat for this one um, as it does dry down a bit on the matte side and you'll really get that sparkly rainbow type pop, especially with the shimmer here um, in person. It's being a little shy on the video, but in person that orangey red shimmer is pretty strong and you'll see it almost like as a backdrop to all those flakes. Here we have Night Owl Lacquer. This is No Scars to Your Beautiful. Official description is a grade teal Crelly with lots of red gold ultra chrome chameleon flakes. Inspired by Alessia Cara's album Know It All, specifically the song Scars to Your Beautiful. Price will be 11 and there is no cap on this one. So the formula on this one is, um, I would describe it more on the medium to somewhat light side. It does have a very glossy, very rich feel during the brush strokes, very satisfying. Um, I had no problems picking up those flakes either on this one, and they give a really nice, like almost like a gilded type appearance against the base. So um, definitely I'm seeing a lot of red and gold and almost like a coppery feel um, against that base color. So for opacity, I would say two to three coats, depending on your preference, and you'll be smooth sailing. The base color is what I would consider a true teal. It's definitely got a bit of a dusky feel to it. 
Um, definitely, I'd have to agree with the official description of being a grayed teal, but really, really pops, especially if you've got warm undertones to your skin. Um, after top coating, no texture here either, and I was smooth sailing. So just another fun Crelly overall. I think this is another one that will flatter um, just about anybody. My favorite thing about this month's polishes so far is that there is a really nice mix of both finishes and base colors here. I think you can't go wrong with any of them. Next, we have Pretty Beautiful Unlimited. This is all I want to do. Official description is a pink tinted jelly base with silver holographic pigment and micro flakies loaded with sister unicorn pea pigment that shifts red to gold, a mix of crystal chameleon flakies and topped with UCC flakies that shift red, copper, orange, and gold. Price is 13 and there is a 126 bottle cap on this one. So if you've been following the brand so far, you know that she absolutely loves to just bring it with the pigments and this one is no exception. This is a very warm type of pink overall and it has a really, really strong gold shift in person. Um, just absolutely loaded here. If you like those shifty type of almost pastel -y type colors, um, this is definitely gonna be up your alley. In person, you'll see those flakes a little bit more. There's just a lot of very warm, glowy, um, almost like an ethereal type feel overall. Um, you might be able to get away maybe as a topper with this one, but I will warn you, it's going to be very dense. So maybe over like a dark color like black or something, but personally, I would wear it on its own. It's very, very flattering. Um, the pink state is more of like a rosy, almost metallic type pink. Um, my bright lights here are just kind of blowing up that pink, but definitely a vibrant rosy pink is how I would describe it. And then, like I said, on tilt, you'll see a strong orangey gold um, shift come out to play. For opacity, I'm going to say three normal to three thin coats for this one, and you will have full coverage. Um, a good glossy top coat will help bring all those hollow flecks out, and it's just very, very sparkly, very shifty. Lots to see going on with this one. Next up, we have Soothing Soul Lacquer. This is Men at Twerk. Official description is a tweaked blue to green base with micro glitter added, inspired by the Village People's Best of Album. Price is 12 and there is a cap of 70 bottles on it. So this is a new to me brand. Um, also, if I'm not mistaken, new on the scene. So um, highly recommend checking out this brand. The brush on this one very easily spread across my nail and fanned out nicely, which is one of my favorite types of brushes. As you're seeing here, it just really helped to apply the polish if you are new to this brand. Now for opacity, I'm gonna say between two and three coats to really build it up and have that base color really pop. I would describe it as a kind of like a bluish greenish um, aqua type color. Very, very flattering. Um, definitely one of those mermaidy type colors. In person, the hollow is um, very densely scattered and it gives you a like a light sparkly effect overall. Personally, I found that going in with three thin coats um, gave me that nice plump effect that I'm usually going for on my swatches. And it does dry down just a little bit on the satiny type side. So I would recommend a good glossy top coat, makes those sparkles really pop and just seals in everything overall. Now there is almost, I'm gonna say based probably on the shimmer, there is almost like a metallic-y type effect almost to it. I think you'll really get a good idea of the overall look on the full hand shot here um, for what I'm talking about with that, especially on that very dense um, scattered hollow effect. And last but not least, we have Supernatural Lacquer. This is Memento Mori. Official description is a delicate top base packed with dark blue to purple ghost flakes. Copper pink green color shifting flakes, orange to green chameleon micro glitters, and dark blue to purple aurora shimmer. Inspired by Memento Mori album by Gemini Syndrome. Price will be 12 and there is a 285 US bottle cap and a 15 bottle UK cap. So if you are a big fan of neutrals and those nude type shades that have just something extra to them, this one's going to be for you. So. On opacity for this one, I'm going to say three coats to really build it up. Um, I can definitely see this one also working as a really nice topper over darker colors to get to really exploit those ghost flakes. Um, now, this is a newer term to the community. 
Um, ghost flakes would mean those really iridescent ethereal type flakes that you're seeing here. Um, in person, it's a lot more obvious than the video. I feel like the bright lights really kind of uh, dim it down a little bit. So there's lots and lots of flakes to be seen here. Now on the formula for this one, I would say it's a medium to light type of feel. And like I said, it feels almost like a curly in that you got to build it up. And then on the between two and three coats, you'll really see um, those flakes and then the shimmer and then the hollow. There's tons going on here. I would say this is a really vamped up neutral shade. Now you will see a little bit of visible nail line on this one. So depending on how you want to wear it, I think this is really versatile. If you wanted to wear an undie with it or just wear it by itself, just really flattering. Um, definitely a very delicate, pretty top like base. So Polish Pickup opens March 1st at 11 a.m. Eastern time and will run until March 4th at midnight Eastern time. I'll link you guys below to the shop. I believe in the next few days, um, the shop will be open for your wish listing um, abilities to be created. And be sure to get in there and check some of these out as some of them are definitely capped. Um, I'll also link you guys below to my blog post if you guys wanted a written format. Um, I know I try to keep these videos just really straight to the point and just, you know, wham bam, let's see the swat swatches and get on with our lives. Um, so definitely check that out if you want a more written version. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching and I really appreciate the subscribers. Um, if you enjoyed the video, definitely like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much.